Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be coming to you guys with a full on crochet faux lac tutorial. So this is not the individual method. This is strictly the typical regular crochet method because with this hair, um, you obviously can't do the individual um, crochet. I did try because <laughs> I still want to test it out for myself. But no, you cannot. Um, but I still love this. I ended up loving it anyway. Um, even though my hair is fully crocheted, like my hair is super full right now, and this hair is just giving me life. So if you want to see how um, I achieve this look, starting from my braid down pattern, then continue to watch this video. Okay, so for this video, you're gonna need a few things: um, a rat tail comb to part your hair. Um, some edge control, some gel to braid your hair, and I use the Eco Styler um, Professional Styling Gel. And I also use some coconut oil um, for my hair when I was braiding as well. And oh, the hair obviously. Um, I think I stated it a few times through the video, but this is all I have left over <laughs> these two little locks. So I will show you the packaging. It is the Curl the Full Locks um, from Main Conception Hair. Oh, Main Concept Hair. I don't know why I keep saying conception. Main Concept Hair. There we go. So if I say conception later on in the video, like I can't read. I'm dy dyslexic, even though, yeah. Anyways, I can't read. So I can read, but you know what I'm trying to say. Um, I want to say conception so bad, but main concept hair. So it's the curled for locks for main concept hair. Um, this hair was sent to me from Beauty Depot, so I want to say thank you guys so very much for this hair. Um, I absolutely love this hair. Um, so yes, it is just giving me super life. Like, I'm pretty sure I'm going to state that in the end of this video as well. Like, I just fell in love with this hair. So yes, this is the hair that I have been using and it is in a burgundy, I'm trying to find the color number. So it's T1B slash BUG. So I'm guessing it means it's a mixture of 1B and burgundy color. Um, it's just absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Definitely would use this hair again. Um, I mean, I will do an update on this too just to show you guys how it's lasting for like two weeks later because I plan on keeping this in for a while actually. So. Yeah, I think I use about nine packs of the hair, literally all of it except for two strands. <laughs> so um, that's pretty much all you're going to need for this. So if you guys want to really see how I did achieve this luxury curl to full locks look, then continue to watch this video. And again, the hair is from Main Concept Hair. Main Concept Hair. I am super hit for saying conception. Main concept hair. Main concept hair. Okay, yeah, so let's just get into this video. I'm sorry, I'm just all over the place right now because I'm feeling myself. Yes, I am. I really am. All right, and I'm because I'm rambling on so much, I will put down the times for like when I actually start breeding, crocheting, and all that good stuff, so you don't have to hear me ramble on and stare at myself. All right, I'm done. Okay, so unfortunately, the individual crochet method's not gonna work with this hair, which I figured because it's curly, so. Yeah, it's just not gonna work like this is what happened when I tried to do it like it opened up so it's not gonna work unfortunately which sucks but um so that means I'm gonna have to crochet like do regular crochet throughout my whole head haven't done that yet so we're gonna see how this goes um yeah so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna section my hair off into two parts um the top half and then the back half because the back half I'm going to do zigzag braids because it's easier for me um, than braiding my whole head all the way back. I struggle with that. So yeah. And my parts aren't going to be amazing because they don't really have to be for crochets because it's going to get covered up anyways. And I have a lot of hair. That's the main thing. You got to have a lot of hair. Unfortunately. 
just when it comes to braiding. Okay, so I'm just going to continue to part my hair into two sections here. Um, I just want to pre-warn you guys that um, my entire braiding pattern, like how I braid my whole head, is not going to be on camera. Um, because my camera was dying, um, I didn't look at it before I started recording, so I do apologize for that. Um, I will, once I get a little bit better with braiding, um, we'll make another video um, next time I do crochet just showing you guys how I braid just a strictly braiding video because if it was in here anyway it would be super long but yeah I'm just gonna braid two of my anchor braids um, and show you guys how I do that and then I'm gonna come back when everything is done Okay, so I went and I finished um, my braids because I finished off camera because my camera was dying. So yeah, that was that. Um, so now I'm just gonna sew this end around. So. So that is all sewed up and now I'm going to tuck these things away. Okay, so that is basically my gonna be my braiding pattern for these crochet braids. Um now for my middle part I think I might want this a little closer so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sew it together just a little bit more and I just want to say guys when you're sewing just be careful like really watch where um, you're putting the needle and how close your finger is to the needle because um, don't be like me and poke yourself because I've done that right there as you can see and I've done it multiple times so yeah just pay attention when you're sewing Now I can start crocheting my
Okay, so now it's going to be time to crochet. So with crocheting, what I'm all I'm going to do um, is I just stick the needle through um, the bottom of my zigzag braid, and then I um, open up the hook. I attach the um, loop of the crochet needle to the hook. I pull that through, and then I pull the excess part of the full lock through the loop. And so that's basically how you crochet. Uh, I'm gonna go show you guys multiple times through the rest of this video, um, but I just wanted to explain it too as well. So yeah, I stick the needle through, I open it up, um, I put the loop of the full lock on the hook, clasp it, pull it through, and then pull the rest through the hoop. Um, I feel like crocheting is really simple and it's really easy, so I think that's why I like this style. And yeah. And so I decided to do my hair really full, so I'm going to be placing the full locks on the bottom and the tops of my braids and in between spaces. So I put the locks everywhere because I didn't want any of my natural hair showing through. You, By all means, you do not have to make yours as full as mine, but that's just what I wanted to do because I was going for a really full look. Okay, so I went and I did the back. So I'm gonna let you guys see the back here. It's very, very full. Like I'm using all the packs of hair they sent me. Um, I think they sent me like eight or nine. When I'm done, I'll count it all for you. But I have three left. So I really hope that's enough for the front. I really hope. Well, we shall see. The only thing, like, getting this out is really, like, it's mad hard to get this out of the packaging. Oh, never mind. But, um, when you open it, it's, like, split in two. So, it's kind of, like, two sections. I think each of them have, let's see here. Four, six, eight, ten, twelve. So, each section has twelve, so there's twenty-four in a pack. Which is nice. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up my hair now. But so far, I'm really liking this. Like, I'm really liking this. And my edges aren't laid yet. So again, with um, crocheting, you're going to stick the needle through, you're going to open up the hoop, you're going to um, place the hoop of the full lock onto the needle, you're going to clasp it, pull it through, and then you're going to grab the excess end of the full lock and pull it through the loop. And that's how you do it, and I'm just going to go ahead and finish up the front of my head here for you guys. Um, I'm kind of filling it at this point, I'm almost done. So I was kind of happy about that, and yeah.
Okay guys, thank you so much for watching my video. Um, I do hope that you guys did enjoy it. Um, all I can say first off is that I am loving this hair. It is giving me so much life. It is so big and curly. I love these locks. Um, so yes, I think I might start walking this these curly locks because these are really cute and I don't mind how they look um, fully crocheted. Like it doesn't look bad. It looks super full and super cute so i want to say thank you so much beauty depot um main conception here i want to make sure i am saying that right yes main conception hair this hair is super cute um these faux locks these curly faux locks are giving me so much life and you guys know burgundy is my color so i am just feeling this i'm super excited i'm super happy um yeah that's basically all i can say so um i'm gonna keep this in for a little bit that is the goal is to keep these in i'm sorry to just keep touching it because it just feels like it doesn't even feel heavy like i used i think nine packs of this hair and it does not feel heavy i used all of it except for these two strands i probably could find somewhere to fit them in but um I love this hair. It is giving it's just giving me so much life. Like that is all I can say. Um yes, sorry guys, I'm just in love right now with my hair. Um I was thinking about making a wig. I'm kinda glad I didn't make a wig because I like how it looks crocheted. Like it's still super cute. Okay, I'm done playing with my hair. <laughs> um, let me find my part. Alright, I'm gonna do a side part right now. <sighs> Hold on, let me get my life together. Alright, okay, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, I hope you did enjoy it, and if you did, then definitely give me a thumbs up for this video. And if you're not yet, subscribe to my channel because I have a bunch of great stuff that I'm gonna be bringing to you guys. So, yes, um, thank you again for watching, and keep up with me on all social media at Slay by Sierra, except for my Snapchat is the only one that's different, and it is It's Sierra, and I will have all of that listed below. Alright, thanks again, guys, and I hope you have a wonderful week.